recognized. Jerry, I think if the people knew the real story, they wouldn't believe it. But, <laughs> but uh, you know, I was the first of the, the brothers to do that. And in that day, when I started out in 1976, really, when I started out, it was like uh, the rest of the fans that were used to the wrestlers being kind of middle aged, you know, 30, 40, even older. And uh, and it's different when we went to the, when I went to the ring, the girls were behaving like that, you know, with the screaming and hollering. And and uh, I was always kind of a shy kid, you know, and I was, uh, you know, I was I, well, I was I was shy. And so uh, when I saw that, I thought, you know, my dad knew that I was shy. My dad loved me. He really loved me a lot. And he I thought that's just like him to give those people girls money and for them to be happy. Abe like that because I said I can't go like I said hell I'm never gonna do it again I, I, you embarrass me so bad I said for those girls behaving uh, going uh doing all like that and uh and, and I, I don't know how much you paid them Deb it was it was a mistake because I'm just playing I don't think I'm gonna show my face there again and uh and they said him Bronco Lubitsch and uh they started laughing at me, you know and and so then I, it dawned on me dad didn't I thought what you know I had I had I had kind of a low self-esteem. I didn't believe that was really going on, but it did. And it kind of gave me a, a little kick in the butt to say, hey, that's that's what your calling is and just do it. And and I, I got better and better at it. 